Have you guys ever had like uh, ghost experiences or do you like believe in ghosts? I believe in ghosts. Yeah. Why? 125,000%. Do you have like an experience to match it up or? Um, so I saw this video and it was basically saying like, you know the feeling we get of like deja vu? Yeah. That's like the deja vu is like us in another universe. Like we've done that in another alternate I've universe. Heard that okay. too. Yeah. Baby, just vibe with me. Baby, just vibe with me. Baby, just vibe with me. Vibe with me. What's up, everyone? Welcome back to Wine Talk Wednesdays Hi. exclusively on YouTube. My name is Luciano. Jay <laughs> Miller. And we got Jess again. Yeah. Yay. <laughs> <laughs> uh thank you for coming on again. yeah we appreciate uh, it recurring guest lovely jubbly yeah i'm done now <laughs> i'm just kidding <laughs> well uh, so that the contract's done I'm it's out <laughs> right. uh, <laughs> transfer window ended your facts <laughs> crazy okay. um but yeah no thank you for coming on we appreciate you mm -hmm. and everything uh you know coming on every almost every week now yeah really so i think it's been like three weeks in a row yeah wow. Fire. Crazy. Really we good. love it gotta love that mm -hmm. and the people obviously they love you um <laughs> and also this is coming out the day that we are leaving to go to saint lucia yeah. so we're getting Woo. better than that <laughs> yeah, yeah i mean so the night are, that we are yeah. yeah we're traveling today pretty much yeah um essentially for those of you um that are seeing this now yeah so we are traveling to st lucia as a group pretty much all of gg podcast and um, yep. ty's brother as well mm -hmm. um so it's gonna be a fun ride and you guys yeah. will see another podcast as well oh so fun in, <laughs> in <laughs> st lucia be so, oh, so uh you know check out look, check out, for out, that. That. look yeah. out for that but without further ado let's get into this absolutely Fuck all the one of you yeah. as uh, we always do i hope you guys like what we you know kind of came up with the concept of like reviewing wines and stuff like that and hopefully it's more time efficient and better to watch mm, yeah let us know in the comments all right um who wants to start off first i'll go first yeah you want to go first? yeah, I, have, yeah I, okay. I think i have a twist off so yeah so me and miller um miller and i didn't bring a wine yeah um but he had one from the other day from the other wine talks and mm -hmm. i brought like a reserve wine that i uh was gonna say for a while but I, I haven't had it for like two years so I'm gonna wow so, that's good yeah. though yeah decided you know because we're going to st lucia today why well not yeah very true very true so uh I'm hyped. yeah jared is so hyped i'm still not over that i'm know, so right? hyped to go honestly i'm ready for good beaches and Fun oh, you drinks. got a spinoff. Yeah, no, I know. 30 seconds. Sorry. Get to I remember it. yesterday I did it in 20. Facts. That was pretty bet, good. Bet, bet, bet. So I could do it. You did it in 20? Yeah. Oh, my God. The I'm farther so we proud. go, the Thank less you. we should have time. I agree. I think, like, the more the, the more we do it, like, once we hit, like, episode 200, like, we got to yeah. drop every single one by two. I only did seconds. it because I fucking opened it up. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you're <laughs> right. Up. I forgot about that. Yeah. <laughs> I fucked up. <laughs> All right. You ready? Yes, sir. So we got Jared on the wine. Yes, sir. Three, two, one, go. All right. So I have Jam Jar. It's a sweet Shiraz. What? Oh, I don't know what that is. But me neither. It's um, it's from New York. Is New it now? New York. It is a. Uh, damn, I don't know. I'm just gonna have to describe it. Are you now? Oh, it tastes really uh, fruity. It's really good. It's twelve point five percent from New York. It has a really sweet taste. I'm gonna get it's it. It's over. Yeah, <laughs> and you're done. You're done. Yeah. yeah good you're luck, done. boy. Did I say everything besides you're the done. rating? I think so. Yeah. I don't. Yeah, yeah I think it sounded so. pretty good to me. He said the percentage. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. It's not bad. Not too shabby. I'm gonna give it a eight point one though. It's really high. interesting. Really? That sounds good. Now I'm interested because the wine that I had yesterday was like kind of mid. So this is fire. Really? I might have to try that out. Except for the shot that I have yeah. to take, but it's good enough to chase you it. You guys can mm -hmm. try this, but you guys can't have it. No, so, respectfully. Okay. Uh, my mom wants to try it as well. Understandably. Some good stuff. 
Yeah, she's like, you better save me some. <laughs> All right. Of course. Um, Looks good, actually. You want to go first? Before I move? Yeah, show us how it's done. Yeah. Expert. Get the cork off. <laughs> <laughs> you about to find out today. You going to learn today? <laughs> you going to learn today? You want me to go first and you watch? No. Use the... Uh, or you want to go first? I was saying you can I use the contraption. four minutes to open that. So I'm There's no to way. If, if you use the contraption, it'll actually be a... Yeah, yeah it's really watch, watch and learn. Just watch and learn. <laughs> All right, ready? Yeah, I'll hold it. hold that? Yeah. Thank you. Ooh. All right, um, you want you the, the timer? You got it over there, right. actually. You got a minute, right? Is it a minute? Yeah. Works a minute. Sure, it's not 50 cents. <laughs> I mean, do you want 50 cents? Do whatever you want. <laughs> he wants 50 cents. He wants 50 cents. You do what you got to do. He said it, so I'm going to give it to him. It's cocky ass. He going to learn it, dude. All right, you ready? 50 seconds on the clock. Hey, uh, what? God. Okay. Getting this in. Very quiet. Nice. Okay, very clean. So very this clean. is El Ultimo Inca Vino de Mortiño. Mm. It's uh mm. I know it's from mm. Ecuador. Oh. And the percentage of this wine, it actually doesn't have a percentage, which is crazy, actually. Yeah. It could be on the front. No, it's not on the front. Um it says it's ten ten GL, but alcohol percentage is not on there. So I technically you can go for it. All right, let's see. Uh, it's more great flavor. It's very smooth. Um, yeah, that alcohol. That that really alcohol. messed you up. Yeah, that's tough. Damn. You got look at it. You guys, there's nothing in the front, and then in the back there's nothing. Luch has gotten duped. Yep. Genuinely. Oh. But it's really good. They just slapped a sticker on there and said, find out. What if it's under the sticker? I might give you the benefit of the doubt. I thought about that too. I don't think there's anything under the sticker. <laughs> yeah, there might not be anything under the sticker. Unfortunate. I felt so confident. We know. Yes, 50 seconds. <laughs> if I if I saw the alcohol percent, it yeah. would have been over. Over and done now. I don't know what to base my time off of because I did have this yesterday. Yeah, I think you're just going to have just to just sip uh, it out. Just kinda, <laughs> wow, that's how we do it. Uh, <laughs> that's wild. That, that's this, that's this, how this it is. Crazy. Um, it's um, yeah, <laughs> I had to look for the reserves and not that's, try to take a shot. Crazy. And I'm taking a shot. That's crazy. <laughs> that's definitely crazy. Um, so Jess, we have options here. We got the uh, traditional. We got the more modern version, and we also have the. Uh, this is the stressing me out. What the heck is that? I don't know how to use that. That's just a big boy. Yeah, just put it around the thing. Yes. Like, we gotta go down. The option is yours. Muy yeah, fácil. Yeah, that no. Nah, it's a little. It's a little. Uh, if you don't know how to use it, my. It's a little advanced for me. Yeah. So, uh, what do you? What do you feel like doing? I don't. I don't want to do any of them. <laughs> you get a whole minute. You do. Yeah, yeah, it's gonna take me a whole minute. Or you can no. take it out, and then we can give her less. 30 seconds? Less time. I think we'll that give, sounds fair. We'll give you 30 seconds, I guess. Okay. I had 35 last time, so. Yeah, and I you had four seconds will left. Not make it. Yeah. And you had four seconds left, so that's perfect. And I have 30. no right. idea about this okay. wine. <laughs> perfect. Yes, please. Because I'm a child. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So uh, three for three, see, we are... You see, that probably took like 20 seconds already. Well, he's taking his time. What? He's taking a sweet time. Yeah, yeah and true. it took like 10. <laughs> yeah, she's trying to read it. I, I might give you 25. I know, I damn. I might bring another 28. I don't know. Yeah, take that down. 
Are we going 28? 28. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, I want to know. Hold it? You can hold it. Just don't try to okay, study it before the. It, so. All right. Hey, you gotta get it. Twenty-eight seconds. Oh shoot, my bad. Uh oh oh. <laughs> 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 All right, ready? Ready? Mm, yes. Three, two, one. Ah. Okay. This is from. I don't know how to pronounce it. Bueller Vineyards. It's a white zin. Vendel. Nice, great pronunciation. Um, ooh, sorry. It's from California. The percentage is 10.5. 10. 10.5? 10. 10.5. That's a nice little light one. It's not too shabby. Some a little bit sweeter. <laughs> it's sweet, but it's Sun smooth. It. <laughs> I don't really know how to describe it. Just to... oh. It tastes like grapes. Ooh. Tragic. <laughs> A whole lot of a whole lot of trash to be <laughs> over here today after the bottle already opened for you. Yeah, you're yes. talking all Isn't that. Isn't that crazy? Trying to study. Seven point three. <laughs> 7. Talking 3. all that is. That felt vind- vindictive of her not winning. I don't know if it was like was it like a true seven point three. She was uh, um, trying to study it and to. everything yeah. like beforehand. No, I just didn't know how to pronounce. It. Never mind. Seven point three is not. I'm that not bad, gonna though. get defensive. <laughs> I know. No, it's not bad. It's really fucking sweet, though. Well, uh, okay. I went for the sweeter one because you said pink a uh, pick a pink one. Yeah. So. Well, does it's Miller the- get default? Like, I mean, like just- D- DNF. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Shot immediately. Yeah, unfortunately. Yeah. Immediately, yeah. the way you said that. <laughs> Shot. That was a little forced. Immediately. Mm. Immediately. <laughs> now. You, so, you like, uh, like, let back. me pour it down. Yeah, so. exactly. Type shit. Type shit. Type shit. <laughs> Type shit, type shit. Oh, that's actually pretty good. See? Can I get a little taste this of This is that? good, too. This is, like, sweet. That's the jam jar. Jam jar. I like the name. I wow. saw the jar, and I was like, well, that's already half my name, so. <laughs> wow. That's pretty good. That's really good. I like right? that. Yeah. And I think that's 5. the only red one I would actually drink. That's delicious. Can I try a little bit of that, too? Delicioso. Delicioso. The jam jar. Ooh, it's a little darker. A little higher. Whoa, what do you have over here, Luge? Uh, uh-huh. Oh, this is nice. Yeah. What? Smooth. That's OD. Yeah, it's one this is favorites. great. This is great. It's like more of a it's made in the holy in the mountains. Ooh. Yeah, bro. It seems hand like 14, hand smushed. Like thirteen thousand elevation, something like that. I don't know. You tried that? That looks That's thick. good. It is thick, yeah, it is but it's thick. good. It looks nice. like blood. It's sweet. It's, it tastes like natural. Why are you looking at it like that, Jess? Because <laughs> I don't like red wine. <laughs> red, red wine. That's, uh, that's nice. It looks like, um, it doesn't look like blood. It looks like um, it's blueberry. It's juice. Pomegranate juice, low key. Mm. Um, you want to try it? It's more blueberry no. flavor. Yeah. Okay, so... We are taking our forfeits right now. Uh, unfortunately, yep. everyone lost all around. Uh, we all suck. Yeah, it's bad. It's a bad yeah. day in the office. But um, we got some shots here, and then we got some <laughs> buffalo sauce, yeah. Chick Fil A buffalo sauce. Mix up. I'm so excited. Yeah, which is <laughs> how excited different. you are is really that like is worrying. Way beyond different. Hyped up is actually interesting. <laughs> Okay. All right. All yeah. Right. Uh, yeah. Well, let's get into it. <laughs> I <God>. guess. Right. <laughs> we got the uh, black guess, rum. Uh, you got the gray goose, and we got the hot sauce. <laughs> the hot sauce is so, different. To each their it's own. A, it's pretty. It's a heavy shot. It's, right it's, there. Yeah. Hot sauce. it's like up to here. It's a whole packet. Whole whole sauce packet. Packet. Yeah. All right. All right. Well, cheers. 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 Cheers to the winnings. Cheers, cheers to us. Let's go. All right. Let me take that. She's going for more. She's like, she wants seconds. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> She's sick. She's sick. Okay. How's that? It was fine. It doesn't taste like hot. But it's not about that. It's just the it's fact just like, that you just. Oh, it was just, fine. Like, I would do it again. Like, I feel like if I do <laughs> that, again. I really feel like if I did that, it would go down the wrong pipe. And just start coughing everywhere. Oh. <laughs> start getting in your nostrils. <laughs> yeah. Just the end of me. Literally. 
I, I would never do that. In yeah. high school, I if I brought Chick Fil A, I would um, dip my like goldfish in my Chick Fil A sauce. That's not bad. Though. Like, I so feel like good. That's, that's that's actually adding food with the hot sauce. Yeah. But I just don't think it's very yeah common to just drink a shot of hot sauce. Well, I wasn't taking a shot of alcohol. And that's respect. That's honestly yeah. respect. It's just you know that was just. I think you just, just wouldn't do it. It's fine. Yeah, yeah. No, yeah, yes. That's exactly what it is. She's not you. Yeah, I know. She's not just not made for it like that. Built different. Well, if any of you like <laughs> wine drink. after that is not a good idea. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> Interesting nasty. palette. Any of you that like to drink hot sauce straight up? Hot sauce. <laughs> <Please Hot comment. laughs> <Hot shosh. laughs> I was just gonna like hot ignore shosh. it. But let it go, <laughs> you guys. <laughs> Uh, yeah, comment down and uh, let us know what favorite hot sauce you like to drink straight yeah. up. Send us a video <laughs> with the uh, the hashtag GG Podcast hot yeah. sauce. Yeah, hot and we sauce might have challenge. just try it out for you. <laughs> I yeah, want to do the it. the hottest chip in the world. I want to oh, try yeah, that. Oh, yeah, I did that, that once. Did you? Like at my um, old office when I used to do the at t stuff. Yeah, yeah. Like I was... Um, it was when I wasn't in the office as much because I was in mm-hmm. school. But when I did go to the office that day, they were like, yo, we have a hot chip. Who wants to try it? I was like... I haven't been here in a while, so I'll be a, mm. a volunteer's tribute. I didn't have anything to eat the whole day. You're a demon oh, for that, no. bro. The, it was in the morning, right? It was like 9 a.m. I didn't have anything to eat. 9 a.m. I got there. I was like, I got to eat the whole thing. They're like, the whole thing. Oh, my God. <laughs> bro, I remember this so vividly. And I took a bite of it. I like, I broke it in half and just put it all in my mouth. Pause. And <laughs> at first, like the first... 30 seconds nothing i was just like like it don't taste like nothing then it just crept up on me like Ooh. slowly at a time just levels <laughs> it was levels to the yeah, shit, bro. yeah like afterwards like i literally like i coughed like i was a dragon i was like no <laughs> oh no <laughs> but then bro like after everyone left i was dying like in the corner of one of the offices oh, no. I was just like sitting down, like sweating my balls <laughs> off. I was like, <gasps> the, jo- the joke's <laughs> over now. Everything. Everybody left, and you're just. <laughs> I literally went into the bathroom, was taking a shit, throwing up at the same time. What? Like it was bad, bro. It was so bad. <laughs> at the same like, time, I it was thought crazy. it was never gonna end. I really thought it was the end of my life. I was, Cause I had nothing this is it to for eat. Me. I was like, I had nothing. To, I'll actually, I'll send you guys a video so that we can post on it. Cause it was just. It was what so video? bad. Video. I have a video what on my Instagram of, of it. You're just in the oh. bathroom, just ah. no. It was like before, like, <laughs> oh, like we didn't, no one, we didn't get the footage of me yeah. like dying. <laughs> oh, but like, I was about to say, is, I was thinking the same. I don't think we can post <laughs> yeah. it. Like, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> bro, I was so. You just pop into the camera, bro. The <sighs> boss came in. He was like, bro, are you good? I was like. <sighs> You were killing me. <laughs> like, why did you do this to me? You did it willingly, though. <laughs> I know, I know, I know. But no, you don't want to do it. <laughs> you really don't. End of the day. Video. Yeah. We could. Yeah. We could get like four of them. So you should like, get like the hottest wings future, from guys, Buffalo Wild Wings. Look out, look out for some videos that we're going to be posting on the channel to make it a little bit more interesting to watch. Yeah. And yeah. Fun. So look out for those. We got some content. We got, yeah. uh, some content we should do some shit at the <laughs> airport bar i don't know what oh, oh, yes. the airport bar we is always should. a vibe yeah. we can do like in Miami. To people bro i love talking to people at the airport you bar you should make like key. a vlog out of it yeah, yeah we definitely well, are yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah never mind sorry yeah yeah but still That's we'll definitely the mic. yeah and we're gonna get the drone over there too so it's a yeah, hotel getting yeah. Yeah. i'm getting i'm getting a train this weekend for the drone on how to use it right yeah so that's gonna be Mark's good gonna let us bring it yeah yeah that's yeah, actually yeah, goaded yeah. that's good because he should have been there yeah mm. so fuck you kwan <laughs> <laughs> no, thank kidding, you yeah, yeah we thank appreciate you, you. but we wish you could be here yeah <laughs> wish you could be there yeah definitely. oh god um but uh yeah when i was handing uh jessica the uh, chick-fil-a packet of uh hot the uh, buffalo sauce i said that um uh, i tried chick-fil-a Mm-mm, again yeah. like for the first time like willingly because last time it was just like at a track meet i told the my white friend just to get whatever um 
and he gave me something. <laughs> I love you to clarify. He gave me something so plain. It was just like, bro, what the fuck is this? <laughs> like, this is just you just gave me a chicken sandwich with no like no mayonnaise no fucking sauce no nothing and no fries like where are the fries no, oh, the fries i'm like bro i told you i don't know i've never been to a, like a chick-fil-a place can you dry burgers please, you, I, like i'm got trusting you the most in basic you. thing i'm yeah. trusting in you he got you a grilled chicken with salt and pepper on that bit and i was just like bro uh yeah not, not even salt and pepper wait it was grilled chicken no it wasn't it was oh, okay. you were chicken. Oh. yeah <laughs> I would have, I would have, Gordon Ramsay'd him be like, "Look at this! Put those two pieces of bread. You're an idiot sandwich. Oh, They're yeah. like nothing." <laughs> no, I couldn't. I, I couldn't finish it because it was just so plain. What's yeah. up, Lucky? Come you here. know what? Um, Come here. My go-to when I go to Chick Fil A, I will say, what were you saying before about Chick Fil A? Oh, just how like I tried it again and then um, it, it still was the same thing. <laughs> yeah. Um, I got a made. chicken sandwich um with lettuce tomatoes yeah and um i asked for the chicken nuggets i guess they were good and mm -hmm. then the waffle fries and then i also asked for um what was Chick -fil -A that sauce? um no a spicy chicken sandwich as well mm. Ooh, the spicy gets the yeah. pepper so, jack cheese so yeah with everything and then um i tried the chicken sandwich no i tried the spicy chicken sandwich first i didn't like it because it was yeah. just a spicy chicken sandwich and there was like no sauce no nothing i was just like what kind of plain ass shit is this you just put like a hot Lettuce. sauce for the flavor yeah. of the chicken and it's just yeah. like oh god what is this <laughs> and then and then um i don't know like uh the person that got it for me was telling me oh like a fuck like I'm ruining your experience and all that stuff. I'm like, <laughs> I know, I trusted you. You're the one that's supposed to get the things for it's me. Just like yeah. hook I should have told you it was plain. I'm like, well, nah. It just it yeah. just ruined it. And then the next day, I put sauce of my own on the chicken sandwich because Butter. I saved it. And I was like, okay, I'm gonna make like a good chicken sandwich out of this. Yeah. And it was so good. Like the chicken's fantastic. Yeah. But I just needed more flavor for me personally because that's like better. I like having like mayonnaise or some type of nice like home style sauce like that comes with yeah. it already you know yeah. i like to try different like places that have those type of things chick-fil-a uh, sauce chick-fil-a yeah, sauce they have chick-fil-a sauce it. but they don't you have, have to, it on there do yeah, they yeah but you have to you, you have to get it there. yeah they have like have 10 different sauces yeah but I just that, don't think as, the person a, as a person that as a person that's never yeah. actually like been win willingly to chick-fil-a oh. i didn't know yeah anything. So oh, all okay. I asked for was like, okay, can I just get a chicken sandwich, that spicy chicken sandwich, sandwich does nuggets, change fries, and that's I what mix was. Chick Fil A sauce and buffalo sauce together. Really, I can Fire. see that. I can yeah. So, so next time, now I know that they just come plain. Yeah, um, I thought no the same shit when I first saw it. So I just there. now have to ask willingly. Yeah. Like, no, well, I'm on. I'm on Lucha's wave though. I'm not gonna lie. My first like, I think one or two times I went there, like. I just definitely got a plain burger, like or plain sandwich the first time I went. And I was like, I was like, bro, no lettuce, no tomato. I was like, what did I just order? Like, bro, what? I love I was that, like, though. I was like, this deluxe. place is whack, bro. Yeah, I know. I didn't I know. Yeah, I didn't know. You don't like I ended up getting the deluxe next time, but still, like, <laughs> I had to go ask for sauce. Like, it was just like, yeah. and nothing was on. You know what I mean, I was, was like, I was like, what is this place, bro? Like, I just ordered, like, bread and chicken like what i only have <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Exactly yeah. What i felt was, that bro. i felt I that i couldn't finish it i was like bro this is so dry this yeah is nothing else. i know the first time i literally went back up to yeah. ask for lettuce and tomato I'm so upset what it's do bad. you what do you usually get just when you get a uh, chick-fil-a um i would get oh i usually get the nuggets because it's easy i don't eat a lot so if i'm like super hungry i'll get um a spicy chicken sandwich deluxe with pepper jack cheese but i don't like tomato so no tomato that's crazy and then their mac and cheese is so good mm, and their iced yeah. coffee is so good and their chocolate chip cookie is so good and their milkshakes are fire okay we got a fan over but here. <laughs> i i have one complaint the only complaint i have with chick-fil-a is that i love pickles and they put like two little skimpy ass pickles on the sandwich mm, yeah if you ask whack. for extra they give it in like a little tiny container of just two pickles. Like just put it on the sandwich. What? Yeah, it is. It is wild. That's that they the have only that complaint. Huge I have. chicken sandwich, and they put two little like itty bitty pickles on that. Yeah, like no, nah, I can agree with that. That is terrible. Yeah, yeah it's I kind usually, of foul behavior. I usually, I always get eight piece chicken nuggets with a medium mac and cheese 
and a fries. Mm. And then a I meal. put the a number three eight. <laughs> a number three eight count meal. And then I put the <laughs> chicken nuggets inside the mac and cheese. Yes. Mix it up. Did you I see that it. on TikTok? No. Different. My boy that Balzac sounds me gas. On. I've heard. I, no, no, I've definitely it's heard fire. Of that like, before, really. we, next time you go, if you get that, I promise you, you'll have a different outlook on Chick Fil A. Okay, so we're gonna change it up a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> um, so you know, it's been trending a lot. You know, this past week, um, and Congress has been having a hearing with you mm-hmm. know government officials, you know, being whistleblowers on ufos and aliens Crazy. being real and them actually telling stories like bringing up evidence and all that stuff mm-hmm. for the people to know and what do you guys think about all that stuff like do you guys believe in aliens do you guys believe there's some extra extraterrestrial type yeah. stuff out there what do you guys think about this stuff going on in the world nowadays my brother once i think actually in one of our zoom he podcasts got my brother was talking about like when he had a extraterrestrial experience like he was on oh, the I car a oh, and um bad. and he saw bad timing he saw um like this green light like in the air and it just disappeared but besides that i think personally if we're here and there's so many different species of life like on earth itself Mm -hmm. there's got to be something else out in the in the universe you know what i mean Mm -hmm. like there's got to be something else that's uh of higher knowledge that's honestly i'd say better than us as humans i mean of course you know like more powerful with their technology or whatever they use um their equipment even their their uh the way that their bodies are made. I never had like an extraterrestrial experience myself, but I just feel like it's out there. If if you want to say space is real, then yeah, the, then aliens have to be real yeah. as well. I can buy on that. What about you, Jess? I feel like it, I definitely believe that there's like aliens, but I don't really know. Like, if I had, like, an experience and I, like, saw that, I would definitely really believe, like, I, but I'm, like, on the fence about it. Mm. Understandably. You, like, you think it might be out there, but at the same time, it might be. Yeah, I just don't know enough about, like, all of that Mm, to, like, really believe it. Mm -hmm. I don't not believe it, but I don't, like, fully believe it. Yeah. But there definitely is, like, life outside of our planet. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. I think I'm on a similar page with Loki, where I'm, like, we're... Or actually, no, I definitely do believe, like, if we're right here and the universe is so big, like, there's definitely something else out there. Mm-hmm. I don't know exactly what it is. I don't know if it's what we think about when we think of aliens. Um, I don't know. Alien remains on Earth. I mean, I could see it. My only thing is, though, like, I'm more like, if they're going to be so advanced, like, and they, they came here and, like, happened to crash their ship, it's like, well, if we can't make it to anywhere else and they were able to make it here, why would they just all of a sudden just crash land like here? Yeah. You know what I mean? But at the same time, you know what I mean? I think it's it's definitely still a coin flip. So I, I still believe there's something out there. I just don't know what. No, I, I definitely think that there's something out there. You know, like the world's so big. The universe is so big. Yeah. We have like Jared was saying, there's so many like species and there's other species that we don't even know about on Earth, you know, mm-hmm. deep sea and deep in the inner earth and all that stuff and um i think uh what you know congress was talking about a bit uh they were talking crazy actually. you know like crazy stuff that's already kind of like been said but like they were like providing more like like more in detail about mm-hmm. everything and what kind of stuff was going on and how like they came you know and visited like 10,000 years ago. Yeah, oh Stuff like that. And what? that 10,000 years ago was like when like, you know, the pyramids and all mm-hmm. that stuff was being made, like yeah. all that stuff. And that's why like we can't figure out like how, mm-hmm. how the pyramids yeah. were made in the first place. I think that's like, crazy, oh. yeah. But as well, you know, there isn't like concrete evidence mm-hmm. either yet. So 
I don't know. But, but um, I, mean, I do. I do believe like there's something out there. Yeah. Some someone is like out there. You know, they know of us, mm -hmm. and like the aliens that come about, and like just kind of like I feel like they're just kind of like watching us. Yeah, yeah. It should like, be like, oh, like look at these humans. Yeah, weird yeah. ass. Yeah. Like why are they going to war with each other? Why are they <laughs> each other? They're like, Fucking huh? Doesn't make any sense. Yeah. Makes our job easier. <laughs> but uh, the, the guy did say, I think. I guess two things so like one i guess this is like this is actually such a big deal right now only because it's not talked about by like some random crackhead off the side of the street like it's, it's <laughs> yeah exactly like this dude was like a uh, central intelligence officer if i'm not mistaken and he was working there for the past 11 years in that position so it's not by somebody that was random yeah it was somebody that's actually been inside of it and then they also he confirmed that he said there was um extra uh terrestrial remains like biological remains like of what? you know something that wasn't human brought over but then again like my flip side of this thing is like and a lot of people have been talking about it like does everybody think it's like possibly a, just like a distraction from the government to just like cover up something else that's going on right now or just like kind of like sway the eyes of like the americans kind of just being like hmm. you know there's like there's other bad stuff going on right now and then it's yeah. just like yeah like oh well that's what it was i saw a meme and it was like oh yeah we're taking like student health care like we're like we're not we're like taking it back like you guys actually do have to pay it but there's aliens like you know what i mean like oh yeah so it's like a yeah like a ploy like a some people I, are saying it could be like a it's like, like with covid when COVID came out they uh trump actually put a form or something you know in uh in congress to like have like uh all the ufos and crash landings and all that stuff like to be public yeah 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 and, and it's that just was, like, that was like a big thing yeah, yeah but it was just kind of kind fluff. Like more distracting yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. so i don't know if like it is a yeah. or something you know because like realistically so yeah so i don't think, think they about. would be able to tell us like just because of like i don't know like i feel like it would freak everyone out yeah especially like religion i feel like it'd like break religion it'd be oh, weird yeah. mm. i feel that too because like why come out with it now especially now that everyone's kind of skeptical about like area 51 and like all that stuff mm -hmm. like why come out with the info that we already had in our heads like now mm -hmm. you know what i mean like we know that you're hiding something in that area if it's so restricted so like why are you like saying yeah why are you trying to confirm it now yeah exactly you know what i mean that's what i think too i'm like I don't know, like, a lot of it is kind of regurgitated, like, stuff that's just confirmed. But then it's just more like, why do you want us to know it? Like, we don't have to technically know if you don't want us to. Like, it's the government. You it's know what I mean? proven. You don't, yeah. Like, we don't have to know. If you yeah. Don't know, so, you know what for I mean? what? So, I could see that. It is what it is, though. I mean, I'll take the information, but it yeah. could just be straight lies. I don't know. Yeah. I also, be. what were you going to say, Lush? Were you gonna I, say? No, I was just saying, oh. yeah, it could be. I was going to say, like, I always think about, like, Avatar, too, like, thinking of different mm -hmm. worlds that have, like, Earth-like characteristics where there mm -hmm. could be more life. Mm -hmm. Like, that could literally be, like, the alien species that comes to, like, us at times, like, mm -hmm. trying to travel because they can. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like, we can't travel anywhere beyond Mars, so. That's mm -hmm. true. Maybe they could travel beyond their uh, mm -hmm. yeah. planets, even, like, solar systems and make it yeah. to us and that scares us because we don't know their abilities i mean yeah, we can't even see that far but like you know what i mean like crazy. so that's what i'm saying we're like we can go like we've left our universe like with the hubble telescope mm -hmm. and like we have pictures of our other areas but like if there were to be like aliens to like come to our place like it means we universe? like even our or yeah galaxy? our galaxy, galaxy yeah galaxy. um like so we know, have so yeah you're right um <laughs> yeah that's pretty far no but if they were able to see us before we see them but then on top of that be able to see us first and go to us first mm -hmm. with that type of space and time like difference like, i feel like that'd yeah. be od you know? i heard that's that they were like, right there i heard yeah. that they were like traveling different dimensions and i wouldn't stuff. be surprised what? like multi versus low yeah. key wait okay off of that i have another topic um like alternate universes uh -huh. yeah mm. so i saw this video and it was basically saying like you know the feeling we get of like deja vu yeah that's like 
the deja vu is like us in another universe like we've done that in another alternate I've universe heard that okay. too. yeah but like do you that. guys remember i think it was two years ago when the ball dropped like the timing was off i don't remember there being something about it it was they were like counting down like from 10 or whatever and everyone had like a different interesting like when it got to one like happy new year it was different everywhere you mean wow. like time zone or yeah, no, no it was like just it like glitched it, yeah. it like glitched or something Damn. and then i don't know i don't know i just think that was weird and then yeah. like covid happened and we were like oh yeah, this is weird yeah yeah i see what you're saying mm-hmm. yeah and now one everything's those, like normal yeah but it's like one of those like alternate kind yeah. of timeline deals but yeah. i feel like the deja vu thing is kind of weird yeah no i definitely feel that i think i've definitely thought about stuff like that before we're like even like i don't know you feel something like that could have or like you've kind of that same deja vu feeling mm-hmm. where you're like damn like or i've been like oh wow other miller could have done that you know what i mean yeah. like we're like had d- made a different decision yeah. like kind of deal that was definitely funny i feel like there's been so many situations where like something has happened and i'm like sitting there like that i swear to god like this has happened before like yeah. i swear to god yeah. i have this like exact moment yeah like that's how i feel it's about so it. weird feel yeah it's so time. weird mm-hmm. but like why would you people, dream it and alternate then it universe <laughs> every time i say that though like i literally had this feeling of being in this moment in this exact time from like the past yeah thinking about it now and then like the smell of the the moment the just like mm-hmm. looking at a different like frame of just like whatever i was looking at is the like, scenery the yeah scenery. it's, it's perfect like, no this is Image. exactly what i i yeah. saw back yeah. in the day when i was it's a kid so yeah. weird yeah. it's so but weird then, like they say like oh like it's just like your past making like forms of, yeah like, oh, yeah so i'm like, like no I'm sorry like, no, it's, <laughs> okay, like, it's a right? feeling like, dude okay, it's literally like the weirdest thing like the most spontaneous times yeah what about like they say that like every time you have a dream like every person in that dream is someone you've like seen before like no one in your dream is no one that you don't know or yeah, like you've never seen i'm that. like yeah i don't believe that because I, I feel like i've seen like random ass people that i've yes. never met in my life yeah in my i dream. mean maybe you've yeah. seen them on like the street or something yeah subconsciously possibly. Yeah. i thought about that or too. like in the background of a photo or something yeah. like that but i just think that's a little Man too much yeah. for my brain it's, to yeah, handle like, i remember I this can't. like one really old lady was in my dream and like i kept being like, You're like who, who? Yeah. <laughs> you know because like i remember like like half of my family was in the dream like like one of my sisters and then like my uh my like my mom and stuff like that and then someone else i knew but then it was just like just this like weird grandmother and like this like <laughs> random white dude and like yeah, i was what? just like who are you guys like what is and he pulled out a gun and i was like what is this dream what's going on (laughs) you wake up and you're like what was that i was like who was that dude Mm -hmm. like what oh god i don't know weird that gets me thinking do you guys like believe in time travel and stuff i think that's such a hard question because i feel like if time travel was real then yes alternate dimensions could happen because if Mm, you were to do time travel and then change what you did I don't in that same time then yes an alternate dimension would be would created occur. yeah i feel like i believe in like reincarnation a lot more than time travel mm. Mm. like you know those stories mm. that of like little little kids are like oh yeah i was in 9 11 and they have like specific yeah, details like how like would that. you know that you're three yeah, oh, yeah it's, it's so stories. crazy i got into like a youtube hole like last yeah. week about all this stuff so i don't know there are I crazy just, kids it's so stuff weird like that my aunt thinks she was like cleopatra in her past life okay. and i'm like Whoa. what yeah that's i don't know it's be. weird that's crazy yeah there's a little boy who thinks he was princess diana but like the story's crazy i'm like there's <laughs> that no that is way. od though yeah he's like you remember the like tunnel? saying it out loud <laughs> sounds stupid but if you like watch the videos on it it's yeah. so weird no i've actually seen those videos before too and it's actually kind of crazy I, I definitely have had some thoughts like i remember like seeing this little boy that thought he was like a or like remember had memories of being like a soldier and like early yeah. world war or something like that yeah like, and it's like some weird stuff even know that yeah you know? exactly od which is insane i mean unless he had a dream about it but like yeah. but why yeah, would but you have a dream about you don't really it? remember kid. Like details of your dreams especially if you can't see like if you can't i remember you, details of my dreams when i was younger, yeah though. but i think it's more yeah. about like how can you dream something that you've never like Experience. you can't even experience or think yeah. about like or like wrap your you head wouldn't around. know that was a real thing yeah but you're well, like yeah world war ii how did you know that was yeah what 
like i feel like a lot of my deja vu moments are like i don't know honestly if it's a repeated from my dreams mm. per se but mm. nah like i feel like all that shit comes together at some point and it's like it comes full circle all together and we still have no idea like if it's all real or not <laughs> so i don't know so do you think we're like living in a simulation <laughs> <laughs> that's a good question Andrea. That's good. maybe like maybe those deja vu moments are like a reset so, mm. like, like a that's why the alternate universe like freaks me out because then yeah. i really feel like it's a simulation yeah, yeah. it's funny because i remember like seeing stuff that's like yeah. yeah our chances of being in a sim- simulation it's 50 50 <laughs> like like it's simple as yeah. that it's either you are or you're not yeah exactly yeah, yeah. yeah. It's like genuinely it's like yeah. we're either we are or we're not yeah. so, i think it's hilarious i feel like we are do you guys watch That's Black Mirror? Oh, love it. Oh, my God. It's like that. Yeah, like, I agree. Really, is yeah. that really what's happening? 100%. It's so weird. I'd be watching, like, some of those Black Mirror episodes, and I think, like, that could happen in the future. Like, realistically, yeah. some of them Most are them. pretty accurate, yeah. I think even, like, like the censorship stuff with kids mm-hmm. and, like, I don't mm-hmm. know. There's a lot of interesting episodes that I think, like, Have are very much happen. you watched that movie, Hello, Darling? Yes. No, what That's is that? That's more of a simulation It's movie. literally really? basically, yeah. like, if Black Mirror made, like, not Bandersnatch, but, like, if they made, like, an actual simulation movie. Really? Like, yeah. That's what Hello, Darling is. Really? Yeah. I gotta watch that. Thing. Yeah, that sounds good. Insane. Yeah, sounds it was good. so Did that crazy. recently come out? Yeah, it was uh, Harry Styles. Yeah. And, uh, I forgot her name, I but her last her name's name Pew. Okay. Yeah, cool. she's really famous, and she's in the Oppenheimer movie as well. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Have you guys seen that yet? Uh, I've seen yeah, it, yeah. Man. How was I it? Go I want to see Barbie. it. Fucking <laughs> fantastic. One of the my favorite movies really yeah. wow yeah. holy shit it's just like I, I just love the uh the actor the main actor because i love the show mm-hmm. peaky blinders far killing killing mm-hmm. murphy he's a guy so good bro so good it's just i don't know man i can't really explain it you gotta watch peaky it yourself Blinders. like the, the way of the the cinematics how it comes out the way the acting is and just like the story itself mm-hmm. as well it just all ties in very that's cool Very well together. i haven't seen a that's good dope. movie in a while so yeah so yeah, yeah that movie Honestly. will really like mess you up hello darling or yeah, hello, darling. hello darling yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah it was so weird it was wow. very mind-boggling for sure yeah yeah interesting but i don't want to spoil I it like i had no I idea what it was about when i watched it me either. everyone was just like go watch it and i was like oh, I okay it was a romance. yeah me too and then <laughs> and then it was yeah. to be, you know yeah. yeah i was like oh what yeah okay Jared, we'll say yeah, really watching it. <laughs> those are my favorite kind of movies yeah too. like yeah. that like that's the one, I like black mirror i'm so, so i'm so perceptive perceptive when it comes to watching movies because i always try to like think about what's going to happen and i always depict like what's going to be a good movie is based off of if i can predict it or not like if i can oh, predict it it's not a good movie Interesting. oh okay oh you know yeah i know because it's almost like a spoiler if i knew what was gonna happen yeah. i don't know if you guys want to talk about anything else we were talking about there i don't know if we talked about this before but have you guys ever had like uh ghost experiences or do you like believe in ghosts i believe in ghosts yeah why 125,000 percent. you have like an experience to match it up or um so nothing has ever happened to me personally i also watch a lot of like sam and colby if you know who they are, they like go to haunted places and they have. Oh, but it's on not YouTube. fake. I know exactly. They try to debunk about. everything that happens uh-huh. and they can't. Um, sometimes they can, but I don't. It's so crazy. So I'm like, I religiously like watch like that. But um, my like family has told me like experiences and stuff. And there's this one time, my opa was driving, and in Bethany, like over here, because they lived over here. Nice. He, that's grandpa in Dutch. Mm. Yes. Yeah. It's also like German. Opa and Oma. Yes. That that's was like my, my Asian. Oma and my Opa. I'm pretty yeah. sure. Yeah. But it's also Oma like and German and. Oh, yeah. oh, but. Um. So my Opa was driving, and he saw like a hitchhiker on the side of the road, and he like had him get in the car and they were having a whole conversation in the car he was driving him somewhere and then he like turned to look at him and he was there was no one there 
Mm. No one there. Oh nah, that's crazy. Yeah. Wow. yeah. Was it dark at night too? Or? Yeah, it was nighttime. <sighs> that's a hell no for me. He, was he hallucinating? No, he wasn't hallucinating. <laughs> No. I mean, because yeah. I know sometimes when you don't eat for a long time, you can lose. Oh yeah, like no, that, you know? it was not That's a hallucination. Wild, though. Yeah, wow. but like spirits and stuff, I do believe that also mm. because when my oma and my opa passed, they sold their house they used to have and they moved into another house like down the street from here actually. Um, and something happened like with their old house and I don't know, like the realtor or something. I don't know what exactly happened, Mm -hmm. but he said that when, when they died, they hoped that, um, a really big storm would come and that a huge tree would fall on the house. And after they passed, when we were coming back from their funeral, we drove by the house and there was a huge tree on the house and it was just after a storm damn it was so weird yeah no stuff like that so is weird, i do actually. believe in like stuff like that mm-hmm. that is that's crazy, crazy. Yeah. no i i believe with the spirits and stuff like that yeah my um my grandfather like passed away in like 2020 i think mm-hmm. um or 2021 and i remember like having like a, a dream about him that night of that he was passing away because mm-hmm. the night before i missed the i missed the call from him and I, I i was like already like you know sleeping or whatever but i missed the call and then that night i guess um it was my first time ever dreaming about him ever in my life yeah so i had a dream about him and he was just giving me like a key to like a stadium like okay go play like soccer like go play football you know this is for you and then that was it of the dream like all that stuff and then i wake up and then i found out that he passed away and it just like was so gut wrenching my friend had like the same kind of experience it was, too it was insane yeah it's just like i miss his call and everything and it was just like fuck mm-hmm. yeah, that's yeah, wild. yeah it, was, it was wild but um no, it was. It, I thought it was beautiful because at least I got to say goodbye in my dream, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah like that. Yeah, and he came to you too. Yeah, mm-hmm. which felt like a little bit better. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. About everything. It actually is wild that he came to you, like yeah, the night of it of him passing. Wow, dude. Yeah, well, you had any ghost stories, like personal? Because mm. I had one when I was like. um I had my friends downstairs mm-hmm. and I was washing the dishes upstairs in the kitchen and I I just felt like this cold breeze like on the back of my neck and so like I turn around and you guys know like the middle cardboard part of like a paper towel roll like a roll of paper towel yeah yeah I like whenever it's finished I always like crumple it up and fold it in half mm mm-hmm. And I put it on the table and I just remember like looking over at it and there's no windows open, no fan is on, but I just see it like rocking back and forth and then it just stops. And I was just like, oh, fuck. Like, why would yeah. it stop? Like if there was a fan on or something, like yeah, maybe like, there was, the like a breeze or something, could, like, make yeah. it like, but there was nothing like doing that. So like, I was like, oh, fuck, like. I gotta finish these dishes, but like I'm so scared right now. Like <laughs> I just want to go downstairs. I want. Yeah. I want to go home. I wanna, <laughs> I'm like I'm already home, but nah. I just. I feel like that was the pivotal moment of me like understanding like there's something uh-huh. like in the spiritual realm that's mm-hmm. you know yeah. with us as yeah. well, and like I don't know like living in the basement kind of helped me like get used to that because. Yeah. I don't know. I just like always thought to myself, like if I just dance, like they they're not gonna possess me. You know, what yeah. I, mean? like, I, if agree. I just like dance and like try to chill with them. Yeah. Like they're not gonna. No, I used to think do the anything same crazy. Thing. So yeah, yeah. I'm like, bro, if thing wants to square up. Like it'll square. With, with <laughs> it'll right square now. up. Yeah. Like just do you. Like yeah, you know about your exactly. Day, like, you know what I mean? Right. I'd be thinking like I'm like, hey, like hey, would have had my ass already. Like honestly, <laughs> like, you know what I mean? I can't even see them. Like, yeah, yeah. Like, that's like literally what I'm thinking. I'm like. Hey, if I'm gonna swing, it's not gonna do shit. Like yeah. if it does, like he's getting hit. I'm telling you right now, like <laughs> bro, that ghost is catching when I, smoke. When I went to England and I stayed there for like at my friend's house for like a month and a half, and then we're mm-hmm. working and stuff, 
I was in um, in the house of theirs, you know, staying there. And at the end, like the last week, for some reason, um, Arlette, like the, the mother, told me like, oh, yeah, like, you know, this house is like very like haunted. Like we had to have a priest come in and stuff like that, like to bless it and all that stuff. And then everyone, I'm getting goosebumps already. Oh. And um, damn. And uh, I didn't know this, you know, at all. I didn't know anything. And then they were like, oh, yeah, like, tell me about everything. Like, all seriously, just, like, nonchalantly, you know, like, everything that has happened. It's like an everyday occurrence. For yeah, them. like, yeah. it was like, yeah, the, the, my, my teammate, you know, my friend, he said, like, yeah, like, when I was on a bike inside, you know, he has a elliptical bike, whatever, inside. And uh, he saw a little boy outside crying and with like no like eyes or whatever just like outside and then oh. he's like he went to his mom and it was like mom, mom, mom. and then it just like went away oh, oh god and then uh they had experiences where the room that i was staying in for the whole month where it's the a mo- month excuse yeah, me a month and a half <gasps> and he said he said uh that it was the most haunted room that out of the house because it would be a lot of like uh like bad spirits coming out and then there would be like you know people talking and then there'll be like people like rustling around or like it was just him and his mom and his brother just staying at the house so it'd be like when you hear rustling around it'd be the ghosts the yeah. spirits and there would be like bad spirits all around oh so that's why they had to have the priest come in that's wild um and stuff like that but they put me in the you know the room obviously that was free and the, the most haunted one that i'd I didn't know about the wonder why it's free <laughs> yeah exactly yeah, right. and, um, <laughs> and luckily you know like i had like my my cross and everything i'm very religious and i pray every night yeah um so i felt like very protected always like i always do you know feel very protected um and nothing has happened they're like wow like i'm surprised you didn't see anything at all like that was that was the most haunted room like really that's crazy <laughs> so yeah, fucked up for the rest of the week i was like well, let me just keep the TV on. Yeah, that's wild. <laughs> yeah, it was it was bad, bro. I, like I'm still like getting goosebumps. <laughs> At least they did you right and like saved it for the end of the trip. Let's right. be honest. Yeah, like, imagine the whole. You would have had me messed up, <laughs> yeah. like looking around all crazy, like every like. Yeah, freak, you're like, exactly. What was that? Anything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, like they're like, yeah, you got a free room, free of charge. Don't worry about it. On us. On us. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. doesn't know i'd be like why <laughs> yeah exactly why? it's a little too good to be true mm-hmm. yeah dude. i feel like having a, a a good faith in something though is always good for those spirits because i feel like the spirits will always attach to the weakest people like the most vulnerable people that feel like they have like no hope or or faith in anything or just like negative i guess yeah, yeah. so it's like they, just like miserable with life they something. attach to those that like feel like they have nothing left and it's Whoa. like when they feel like, like they have emotionally nothing left, like vulnerable yeah. yeah and when they feel like they have nothing left then it's like almost like an easiest like easier access to your and they do feed off of like fear too you know what i mean oh like, yeah fear. but as long as you have like you're already like manifesting that mm-hmm. and i'm like not like religious like that but like i always have faith that there is you know higher power and like i always like pray to god and stuff yeah with like no set religion but just like having faith that you know like there's someone watching over us mm-hmm. yeah it's so. always good to you know even think that there's a higher power or not a higher power like at least like i think um you know if you believe like there's a the universe out there mm-hmm. you know because you can get scientific about it like the universe if you put good energy in the universe you'll get the good energy back you, know, you put bad energy out in the universe you'll get bad energy back absolutely so it makes sense with like religion and like you know with being scientific with the way that you kind of just with the what is that called like the vibes the um the frequency mm-hmm. yeah the frequency and stuff like that so um i i do i do get both sides of that because i've read a book about it yeah yeah about Wait, like, what's it called uh, freq- um La, la, sal- la salma it. de una. Right, uh, we gotta put it in the link because yeah. I would love to I need actually to read, read more. that. I feel like you read a lot of books. Yeah, no, I, I need to. I, 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 I just started getting more. into a lot of books this, really? this year. Really, I yeah. can't get into reading. 
I would say if you're trying to get something out of it, I think it's really a big thing. Yeah, no. like like it's been really good for my personal growth. Yeah, yeah. I agree, Sam. Definitely feel. I that. think if you have like something like in mind that you really like, if you want to mm-hmm. get in depth on, I think it's like yeah. I, I've always yeah. said like the hardest part for me reading, like even when I was younger, was like I don't want to read something that I'm not interested in. You know what mm-hmm. I mean? But if yeah. when yeah. you go and pick that book yourself and like. And, you know, I mean, me, when I, like, go and read these books, too, like, I am looking to get something out of it. Like, I'm enjoying, or, like, I'm reading it to enjoy it, but at the same time, I'm I'm looking for something out of this book. Like, you know what I mean? So, I think, like, looking at it like that, like, helps me at least finish the book, and I think it helps me just kind of, like, yeah. invest myself more into what I am reading. I think so reading, true. too, like, every day, so like... True. Even if it's just 10 minutes, like it helps yeah, it focus helps. on something, maybe not productive, but like it helps you focus on something that's, you know, like not um, a phone. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, essentially. Like you can learn a lot in, yeah. in 10 minutes from just reading. Yeah, I agree. Mm-hmm. So I feel like just, just focus. That's how I felt when I was doing like, somewhere. yeah, I was reading during work and like on break, like I just read like a chapter or two and like depends but like it would get me so fired up sometimes like i really? swear yeah motivating. so motivating, motivating. like and I, and I was what, reading like, like yeah like yeah i was like yeah no okay. but like yeah. seriously it'd be like you're reading like a romance i was oh. Like, yeah, let's get, these <laughs> yeah let's get these sales i'm gonna sell yeah. so much today <laughs> exactly nah but like yeah exactly i think like that's why i said like i'm reading like maybe like success <laughs> and like success books like finance uh like business related and like startups entrepreneurial something um I'm yeah something i'm passionate yeah. about so okay. like okay. when i'm reading it like you know and they're like saying like saying like passages like you know it's like you know like don't like you know don't be a bitch go harder you need to like work 10 <laughs> times harder and like yeah, do all this other stuff fired, you're like i'm like oh i'm about to sell I'm about to sell anyone i'm about to sell salt to a slug like honestly like what am i about to do like, <laughs> like, i've honestly. never heard that saying before <laughs> yeah that's like, so funny crazy. i could sell salt to a slug that's so crazy yeah so fucking salt uh, kills slugs yeah exactly exactly <laughs> what, uh, what about the oh, book that you. i gave you yeah oh. okay you will good. yeah i like that one actually. have you read it or not completely? i've read a couple but I haven't. I'm still reading my other yeah. book right now. Is it good so, so far? Yeah, from what I started, it's really, yeah. um, it's really impactful with like just wanting to do like stuff. It's yeah, like, within yourself. Yeah, like whenever you can, whenever you feel like you can't do something, you just kind of have to shift your mentality and just say like, you yeah. can. You will. Yeah, yeah. It get. I mean, it's a very religious book as well. But at the same time, it, you can also take it in a way of just like non-religion. Yeah, because he talks about the way like you just it's all within yourself. As yeah, well. yeah. So I like when you like being open-minded with different perspectives on that stuff. Absolutely. Know? But um, yeah. I think we're gonna yeah. end off yeah. there. That was, right? that was, that was a good a, one. I think it was a, yeah, that was a good really one. Really I like that. Yeah. Talk, yeah. yeah. That was tough. Chick Fil A to ghosts. Yeah, to books. Yeah. 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 To alternate universes <laughs> and right. aliens. Yeah. That was really interesting. The way you brought the yeah. alternate universes and I was simulations. trying to wait for the right time. Yeah, so I, was like, I can't really just. Nice. We're talking about something. No, so. it, was, it was good because it got me thinking. I was like, fucking you know? yeah. yeah, that's good. The deja vu hits me, dude. Like, yeah, that's real. Bro, like you can't tell me that this did not. That That's what I'm saying. It's the like, weirdest thing. I've really thing. seen this exact image, so it's like, yeah, it hits me. Dude. No, it hits hard sometimes. Too, it really, really does. It. It's like, looks good. That's <laughs> good. <laughs> all right. Well, I hope you guys enjoy. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. Yep. Make sure to check out Jess down in the link in the description. Of Make sure to check out all our handles, yep. all that good stuff. We'll see you in the next one and. Peace. Tell us, uh, you know, to have some fun in St. Lucia, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah have fun in St. Lucia. We'll be giving you some good content from there. So, uh, definitely. No, good luck to us, and we'll see you in the next one. Yep. Peace. The way you scream my name is music to my